Hey guys, I'm Maggie Furlong. I love TV just as much as you do, but I actually get paid to watch it. I'm the showgirl. So many fall pilots, so little time. The must-see, the good, the unwatchable. I've seen it all, and I've got my snap judgments of the network's new shows just for you. Now keep in mind that we TV critics have only seen the first stab, dubbed Not For Air Pilots. Some things will change, and in some cases, that's a good thing. Let's dive right in. My favorite new fall show, hands down, is Fox's Lone Star, a con man soapy story of choosing between true love and big bucks in the Texas oil business. Now I'm from Texas, so I'm inclined to hate all TV Texans on principle alone. But newcomer James Wolk does a phenomenal job playing the dual lives of Bob and Robert Allen without a hint of over-the-top twang. Instead of going bigger, he finds the perfect balance and he's dreamy to boot. With a phenomenal supporting cast and an even more impressive pedigree, executive producers Chris Kaiser and Amy Littman created Party of Five people, so you know they know drama. Put this show on your must-watch before everything else list. You probably remember the movie and even the USA series from the 90s, but the CW's Nikita is even sexier, cooler, and dare I say it, more badass. Butt-kicking star Maggie Q plays the tough assassin, on the lam from the people who made her a human weapon. She's got a deep, dark past, and I'm willing to tune in as long as the show is on to find out all about it. Familiar faces like Lindsay Fonseca and Melinda Clark all have a hand in the hunt for rogue Nikita. But whose side are they on? No Ordinary Family is like The Incredibles, minus the animation. And I mean that in the best way possible. A seemingly average couple decides to take their kids on an exotic adventure, but instead of souvenirs, they all come back with superpowers. Simple as that. Michael Chiklis and Julie Benz make a surprisingly cute couple, and I love where their stories are going. His new skill could help him get a leg up at work, while hers will make being a busy multitasking mom a lot simpler. I didn't love the couch confessional sessions. Keep those on Modern Family and nowhere else. But again, that could all change. For now, I'm just excited to see more of the action, family, comic book inspired series. Another reimagining that fires on all cylinders, Hawaii Five-0 wins the award for most fun pilot. It's slick, sexy, and seriously action packed. Alex O'Loughlin, Daniel J. Kim, Scott Kahn, and Grace Park are a force to be reckoned with. And the gorgeous Hawaii backdrop sure doesn't hurt. Will Arnett plus Carrie Russell plus Arrested Development mastermind Mitch Hurwitz equals awesome, right? Uh, not so much when that equation spits out running wild. The show basically has Arnett playing an even less likable Joe Bluth, but having him and Russell back in primetime makes me thrilled beyond belief. Here's hoping the grating bravado, annoying side players, and weak storyline get a tweak or three before premiere. It's Dana Delaney in her own show, playing a character very similar to the one she played in her castle guest spot. Dr. Megan Hunt goes from being a top-notch neurosurgeon to medical examiner after an unfortunate accident. She's spicy, smart, well-dressed, and more than a little damaged. My parents will love this. And yes, I liked it too. Jerry Ryan, Jeffrey Aaron, and especially Nick Bishop are excellent sparring partners for Delaney. Flashbacks to the accident that supposedly made Hunt so prickly are particularly hard to watch, but I guess in the end that just puts viewers in her corner even more. I am a J.J. Abrams fan. I mean, who isn't? But because of that, I also expect a lot from the man who brought us Felicity, Fringe, and Lost. Undercovers doesn't completely underdeliver. it just isn't firing on all cylinders as the alias-like show it's been painted to be. The two leads have great chemistry, and I hate that I have to say it, but it's so nice to see some diversity on TV, especially beyond just supporting characters. I just want a little more action with my Married Spy melodrama, that's all. But I have faith they'll hit their stride soon. I'll spare you the details and sum up my thoughts on Outsourced in six simple words. Cancel this. Now please, thank you. I don't know what I was expecting from a show based on a Twitter account turned best-selling book, but with the talented Mr. Shatner as the titular dad spewing comedy gold, I definitely wanted to laugh. I mean, I follow the Twitter feed and it makes me laugh, but this, this is just sad. They're recasting the weakest link, The Sun, but unless they give Bill full reign over his character's rhythms, inflections, and punchlines, I'm calling it quits. Next week, a surprise visit from a sassy madman lady, some glee scoop, and more. In the meantime, get your TV fix at tv.aol.com. You can also follow me on Twitter and subscribe to the Showgirl podcast on iTunes. I'm Maggie Furlong, the Showgirl.